What up, YouTube? G4 Elite here once again, back with another late night video for you guys. And tonight's topic will be my review of Ill Mind of Pops and Six. You know, um, he has yearly single, he drops the Ill Mind every year, and he's finally on Six. You know, um, and how do I feel about this one? You know, I, I feel like I really do like this one, you know, because he, um, hit a really deep topic that, um, a lot of us can relate to, you know, when you be, you know, a friend that's on a substance, you know, it, whether it be alcohol, drugs, and, you know, and it's affecting them. It's affecting your friendship, and you see their life is falling apart, you know, as a cause of them doing drugs. And personally, I went through this in 2008 when I lost a, my friend Megan, you know, when she overdosed on drugs, you know, so I've been through this shit before. So this song definitely hit home for me, you know, um, the lyrics was dope, the beat was dope, you know, production was great, and the video, you know, it really did fucking get to me, you know, that video was sad as fuck, you know, another reason I like this song is because it just further proves Hobson's ability that he's versatile as a rapper, you know, now he can spit and flow, um, or freestyle type joints, he can do, um, hype party mix type of songs, he can be, um, rap about deep meaningful things and he and this song proves that he can rap about deep meaningful things but he's also a great storyteller as well he's a storyteller in his um raps as well which is a dope trait to have when you're able to tell a story via rap you know great story so I, overall i think this video was great um definitely another classic like ill mind of pops and five um also, one more reason, this is my last reason, the reason I like this song so much, you know, it's different than what you hear on the radio all the time. This is the kind of song that you wouldn't hear on the radio. The radio's too involved with playing that swaggity type shit, you know, um, the Rick Rosses, the Maybach music, you know, all these people that's rapping about shit that don't really matter, you know, um. Not to say I'm not a fan of Jay-Z, but Jay-Z just bragging about how much money he got. You know, all that type of shit gets old, you know. So the fact that Hobson's spitting about real shit that everyday people like myself can relate to, everyday people like y'all, y'all can relate to, that's the kind of shit I can enjoy, uh, enjoy when I can be able to relate to it. Jay-Z rapping about him on yachts and eating caviar and shit, I can't relate to that shit, you know, but this shit I can relate to. You know, um, so, so like I said, I really do fuck with this song. It was well worth the wait. Um, you can hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me how you feel about this track. Do you like it? Do you think you don't mind the pops in the five is better? Or do you like this one better? You know, so tell me how you feel about it. Hit me down in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Um, for more discussions like this one and go like my favorite fan page. It will be down in the descriptions. G4 Leader here signing off and thank you guys for watching.